so uh, there's something new in here. Uh, I am on the way to my monthly news and current affairs uh, program appearance on Punk uh, Hoso Radio. And that's the Tokyo Tower, if you can see it. Uh, the typhoon has gone and the Olympic Games are over. And there's something new in the air, as I said. Uh, in politics, uh, Mr. Suga is the Prime Minister. But in the last few days, there have been some rumors that uh, the first female Prime Minister might be in the making. Uh, specifically, uh, Sanae Takaichi, who uh, is one of the senior politicians of the Liberal Democratic Party, uh, is being considered as the first candidate, the candidate for the first Prime Minister. Uh, mind you, in the past, several women have tried to do the top job, but, uh, you know, they have not been successful. And I should say that uh, Miss Takaichi has been uh, kind of a, you know, underdog. I mean, she has not been considered as one of the likely candidates for the prime ministership. But however, in the last few days, uh, maybe in the last few weeks, uh, Ms. Takayuchi has been kind of surfacing as a really important candidate for the Prime Ministership. And interestingly, the conservative Bungi Shunju monthly magazine, which hosts the prestigious Akutaga Prize for Literature, by the way, have uh, uh, posted an article by Ms. Takayuchi on its monthly magazine. And this is significant because Bungi Shunju is regarded as many as the significant arena for uh, would-be politicians and the fact that Bungi Shunju uh, released uh, this article about Mr. Kriji, about her uh, political statement uh, if and when uh, she becomes Prime Minister, she is going to do this and do that. This is quite significant. Uh, that is a theater. So, uh, now uh, the Olympic Games are over and the Paralympic Games are approaching. All oh, the best for the athletes. Um, I think that is... <laughs> I thought that was uh, demonstrators, but something different. Uh, that is the Bunka Hoso radio station, by the way. So, uh, it might happen. I mean, the first female prime minister in modern Japanese history. And this is quite interesting because, as I said, Minister Kaichi has been an underdog and has not been considered as one of the major candidates. But this often happens in Japanese politics, or well, sometimes happens in Japanese politics, that an underdog, uh, because he or she has not been, you know, on the horizon, people are not prepared. and. That way, Japanese politics works uh, the best for these candidates because there would be no serious objection because there's no time for objections to be formed. So, all the best for uh, Ms. Takaichi and all the best for Mr. Suga too because he is, after all, the current prime minister. By the way, these are the main personalities of the radio station. So, I have finished uh, the broadcasting at Kahoso radio station. Well, yeah, it was mainly about coronavirus. What else? We did discuss Japanese politics, although we did uh, argue that the politicians should be, you know, taking more responsibility. You know, not only in terms of, uh, you know, contingency planning, but also to towards reassuring people that things will get better. Uh, I think the politicians are not doing a really great job of, you know, assuring the Japanese public that things will be better in the days to come. That's a huge missed opportunity and there goes uh, airplane.